Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Ashley McGuigan. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Hawaii at Manoa in the Botany Department. And what I study are food systems and specifically agroforestry, which is a traditional way of farming in the South Pacific. And the herb that I would like to talk about today is one of the largest herbs. It's musa, which makes up the bananas and plantains. Musa generally has broad leaves, grows relatively tall, can be considered an understory or an overstory plant. Musa is found and grown all over the tropics, but it originates actually in Southeast Asia and the South Pacific to some extent. So an interesting thing about the fruits of the musa plants are that they are actually considered berries and they often grow in bunches or hands and can vary in size from almost uh, a foot long to a few inches long. The smaller variations of the fruit sometimes are called ladyfinger bananas and in Fiji where I study that name translates directly into Fijian as Linganimarama, which also literally means fingers of a woman. And you can see this name translation in many other languages directly. So medicinally, it's been cited as reducing migraines, helping with cholesterol and high blood pressure. It's also used when the leaves are burnt and mixed with coconut oil to treat skin burns and skin blisters. Some of the very useful applications of the plant are in treating internal parasites, dysentery, and for women, abnormal periods. Culinary uses is probably my favorite topic. There are a plethora of different ways to use banana fruits and flowers, actually. My favorite way to prepare a specific type of banana, and in Fiji it's called fei, is to boil it in coconut milk. The fei banana is rather small, the skin is bright orange actually, and the flesh on the inside is golden, and when it's boiled or simmered in coconut milk, it brings out this tangy, sweet, coconut, banana flavor that's really unique. Typically the banana varieties that we see in the grocery stores are the Cavendish varieties, but I think it's really important to note that the genetic diversity of our agricultural bananas is super small and so they're super prone to things like singatoka, leaf spot, and puts us at risk for diseases and pests in our banana agriculture. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjburgerfoundation.org.